My name is Ted Serkin, and I'm a licensed landscape contractor here in Southern California, and a um, proud member of the CLCA, uh, serving on the board of my local chapter in the San Fernando Valley. Um, we developed a product called the Little Valves, and the Little Valves are a very simple, low-tech little valve in the side of the pop-up stem, as you can see here how I'm turning it. And uh, it controls all your distance. You never, ever touch the screw on top of the nozzle again. Uh, we have these stems in Rainbird, 12, under 4 inch, 6 inch, and 12 inch. We also have weathermatic stems. We have some hit stems. And uh, we have pretty well got you covered in uh, whatever you need on the stems. And again, a 4 inch, 6 inch, and 12 inch replacement stems. Uh, we also have our own product called the Little Tuffies that come in 4 inch and 6 inch that use the uh, female nozzles only. Uh, we um, also have the um, shrub uh, couplings, which are great for shrub adapters. Uh, any shrub adapter, male or female, you do all the control right through the coupling uh, with the little valve and the coupling. The uh, little valve is uh, you get the little keys are for free. Uh, we also have red handle wrenches that uh, um, cost around three fifty that are um, give you a little bit of extra leverage. The little valve will help every single nozzle work better than it is working now. And as a matter of fact, the little valve is the only product on the Metropolitan Water District um, rebate list. It's the only sprinkler product, I should say. Uh, you have high-tech nozzles, you have high-tech controllers, but uh, we are the only sprinkler part on that list. Uh, you get the rebates on commercial projects at this time only, not residential projects, not, res not residential projects, but we're working on that. With the little valve, you will control. You can do it uh, all the way down. You can shut it off. By the way, they do not shut off 100%. They shut off about 98, 99%. The valve down here better shut off 100% on your remote control valve. Take the sprinkler off nozzle like this. You can go ahead and flush it. All by yourself. You don't need to be yelling at somebody at the controller to turn it off and turn it on. You don't need to run back and forth on the clock in the valve, and it's even faster than having remote control. Assuming your remote control is in good working order, it's still faster to use the little valve to flush your sprinklers and, and clean them and close them out. You'll like the remote control maybe for turning them on initially, but that'll be it. And um, so the stem won't go down, like I said, until the valve is shut off. You'll also uh, never touch the screw in the top, and for nozzles, if you're going to be with spray nozzles, all you need is 15-foot nozzles, and the reason we're on the rebate list is because the 15-foot nozzle puts out droplets that are bigger, fatter, and heavier than the smaller ones. You'll notice there's hardly any misting on, and I've got this thing on about 15 feet, and watch this. This is your 15-foot nozzle. This happens to be a Rainbird nozzle, and I'm bringing it down to about 10 feet. Did I come over there? And I bring it down to about 10 feet. Okay, that's about 10 feet. Now, here is a 10-foot nozzle down here without a little valve. Look at the difference. What you're looking at the difference at is in the is in the um, droplets. Look how small they are. Look at all the fogging and misting you're going to get out of that. And even if you had not a lot of pressure, you're still going to have misting and fogging because the droplets coming out of a 10-foot nozzle are smaller than the droplets that come out of a 15-foot nozzle. And they're lighter and they're going to be affected, of course, by the wind. There's going to be wind drift all over the place with that. But with the 15-foot nozzle, because they're so much heavier, they also penetrate the ground a lot uh, deeper and they're not as affected by the wind. And that's probably the reason why we're on the MWD rebate list.